Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another Teardown Tuesday and today we're going to take apart Oculus Rift Dev Kit 2 and I would say let's get directly started. So guys, there we go. Here's Oculus Dev Kit 2 and if you want to see a comparison between Dev Kit 1 and Dev Kit 2, there's one on my channel so make sure to check it out. And I also try to get the latest version of Oculus, so the final version which retails right now for around 600 bucks. So this is super expensive. I paid for instance for this one around 400 bucks and on the Dev Kit 1, yeah, I just got it from a friend for 250 so it gets really expensive and you also need to have a pretty good computer so um, the Dev Kit 2 um, has one big improvement and this one here is the positional tracking camera which you can see right over here basically there are a lot of IR LEDs here under the plastic and um, they are pretty good for those um, positioning effects which are done by um, the camera and the IR LEDs okay um, first of all I would say um, let's put um, oculus beside and let's have a look here at the camera and now let's quickly take it apart so as you can see there are no screws on the outside so here you can see the oculus logo and everything um, input 5 volts 100 milliamps and to take it apart you need to get some kind of squeezer um, here I have one of those plastic tools and um, you, sh you just should start here near the USB port and try to separate both case parts um, so guys, if you ever have to take this apart, don't fail the same way I did. There are actually some hidden screws under the front plate, so I should have watched some other teardowns before. And there you can find two screws on the inside, and yeah, then you start to separate the case parts. I was like, why is it not coming off? And there we go, so here's the inside, and here we have that little circuit board. I will now just remove those two screws, and then we should actually be able to lift it off. Um, be careful with that connector here, so it's probably connecting the camera module here with the board. And yeah, um, so in order to get that one here off, you should use some plastic tools. Um, I usually take a screwdriver, but many, many people here are always complaining. Um, please don't use a plastic tool, you can damage it, but well, um, just be careful. Now I'll unscrew the two screws here and then we can take it out. So yeah, let me quickly do that. Just have to find the correct screwdriver. So this one here. Um, a little bit too small, but does the job anyway. Oh, Okay guys, I've just seen that there are some additional screws, so it's a little bit hard to see in front of the camera, but here's one, here's one, and here's one, so I will quickly unscrew them and then we can, um, we should finally be able to get out the motherboard. And there we go, so some Phillips head screws in each corner. Okay, screws are removed and now we can here lift off the motherboard and take it out, but I just want to be careful because I have absolutely no idea how this looks here from the inside. And there we go. Okay, so that was the camera module, uh, sorry, the circuit board. And here we have the actual lens. And here on the inside we have the sensor. Ooh, look at this guy. So I shouldn't touch it, otherwise it's definitely broken. Um, here on the inside we have something which looks like blue, white, black, red. Okay, doesn't indicate anything about it, but let's have a closer look at that. So here's the circuit board I could find in the camera model and just check it out guys. So here we have the sensor and uh, yeah, I'm very small, so all the small lines looks pretty cool. We have a mini USB port and some other connector which goes to Oculus. We can also flip it around and I hope I won't touch the sensor. And there we go. So this is the other side. We have a webcam controller. We have a crystal oscillator, then some EEPROM and here's some other IC see and yeah that's the whole um, yeah circuit board which I could find there inside then here we have some IR module so this is um, what um, is connected to um, this little connector and then here we have the lens so yeah let me quickly put it beside and this is the lens which I could find inside and it's super wide angle if you have a look through that and it's pretty cool because it can catch a lot of the IR LEDs from oculus so that you're always in the picture okay guys this is how the camera model looks from the inside so what you can find in there and I will now put it back together and hopefully it will still work. So the camera is back together now let's take apart oculus hopefully a little bit more successful and there we go so first of all I guess the front plate comes off um, yeah like this and um, here you can see it's, a, it's just a cover for the cables and we have here an HDMI cable and here we have something which looks like yeah it's a mini USB cable. Um, still here in the strap, so actually we can also remove the strap here a little bit later. And now um, we can have a look here at um, the lenses, because you can also detach the cups. You just have to rotate them here to the left, 
and then just take them off. And as you can see, they're like um, lenses with very huge magnification. So they magnificate the display a lot. And the display, it's a full HD Samsung panel. I'm pretty excited how it will look like. And there we go. So we have rotate this one here to the right too. So that's the other lens. And there are two caps actually included, so A and B. And on the dev kit one, it was A, B, and C. So um, three types actually. Okay, so we now have here a couple of screws on the inside, so um, placed in here and here on the other side, and I will quickly remove them. So once you have removed the two screws here on the left side and on the right side, you can actually remove the whole frame, so there we go. And now we have here just the chassis, which holds um, yeah, um, the display here on the inside and all the IR LEDs. Now in order to get this here removed, um, you have to unscrew four screws, and there is one in each corner, one here, here and here, under those rubber caps. Now in order to get them off, um, yeah, you just have to go in there with a screwdriver and peel off those rubber caps. Uh, can be a little bit tricky, but whoops, I just lost it, and as you can see, here on the inside, there's one screw, and I'll quickly remove all the four screws, and then we can actually just um, get off here the plastic thing. So the screws are removed, and now we should actually be able to lift um, that plastic thing here off, but first of all, I have to get out here um, yeah, that rubber cap, because it actually sticks into the USB port, otherwise it would come off, and there we go. So let's gently just remove that and we have to be careful because there is one flex cable which connects all the IR LEDs on the inside here with the logic board. And yeah, um, there's some tape on the inside which you can remove with your finger. And there we go. So this just secures the connector. And um, I'm not really sure if you can see that um, properly. So that's basically a plastic bar which you have to um, pull a little bit away from you in order to release the connector. And now we should be able just to get out the cable. So this is the circuit board of Oculus. And here we have the um, yeah, plastic front. And as you can see, this is basically a flex cable. So yeah, almost like a flex board. And there's one ILD here, 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 a lot here on the sides and also some here at the top. So this is how it looks like. And this is how head tracking is basically controlled. So the camera, which you've seen before, just tracks all those IR LEDs and then it knows exactly where you're currently in the room and it can track um, yeah, all your movements like head in, head out, left, right. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's on um, the front cap. And now um, let's remove the circuit board and yeah, let's just check out on how to do that. Now, if we have a look here at the board, as you can see, there are um, three screws. So far as I can see, one here, here and here. We also have to be a little bit careful because somehow the the display has to be connected with the motherboard, probably on the other side, and I'll just quickly remove the screws and then I'll try to yeah, get off here the circuit board, and there we go. So just Phillips head screws, that's pretty easy to do. Oh, so here's screw number one, number two here on the left side, oh holy crap, and here um, on the top there's number three, so there we go. And now let's try to lift this off. Okay, um, so far as I can see, here's another connector. So it's secured here by um, some more tape. And let's try to peel this one here off. And yeah, here you can see that flex cable connector. Now in order to get this one here off, I will um, use some plastic tool, which is not broken. And there we go. So that um, is probably the display connector. And now we should also be able to yeah, get out the motherboard. So far as I can see, there are some um, plastic things holding it in place. I just killed the first one here. So you just have to bend them here a little bit. Here also on the left side. And here. Not too much, otherwise they will break. So I think I already killed one, but um, yeah, I can still get back in place. Hot glue fixes almost everything. And yeah, here comes the motherboard. Okay, so there is no connect on the other side. And here we just have the plastic chassis with the Samsung display, as we can already see. Okay, um, before we have a closer look at the motherboard here on both sides, I will quickly remove the display. So let's just check out how to do that. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws. So yeah, let's quickly remove them. Then we should be able to lift off the display. And I'm pretty excited about that. So there we go. 
some more screws and in some other teardown videos I saw that it's actually yeah, a Samsung Galaxy Note um, front panel and I'm pretty excited if it really looks like this also here on this unit and okay so um, it has some kind of smartphone form um, let me quickly just um, grab all the screws because I don't want to lose them so guys here's the display and now um yeah let's remove that plastic frame here and the display is now covered in some rubber and I'm pretty excited about that so um, let's get it off and there we go and we can already see the capacitive buttons here on the inside so here also for instance you can see um, the cutout for the home button and yeah there we go so this looks like a Galaxy Note 4 right? and here it is so this is actually an S AMOLED screen from Samsung and it's still featuring here the whole front plate so the cheapest thing was probably just to get the smartphone display and build everything around it so pretty excited about that I really didn't expect this I thought this was just on a very early version but here also in the dev kit you can see um, we just have here the Samsung panel and totally yeah, smartphone screen and um, I also saw a video that um, still the touch screen is intact so <laughs> this should also work. Now pretty funny. So this is what you can find in Oculus and now I would say um, let's have a closer look at the motherboard and the chips and everything. Alright alright guys so here's the motherboard so the logic board and as you can see this one here looks pretty good so let's have a quick look at the main components. Now the red one here it's an HDMI interface bridge so from Toshiba then here we have four of those ST microelectronics low voltage 16 bit constant current LED sync drivers. So those one, two, three, four, five um, ICs. Then um, this big yellow one, it's a CPU, it's a 32 megahertz um, CPU from ARM Cortex M3 and it has 128 kilobytes of flash memory. So yeah, that's actually the CPU which controls everything. Then um, this one here, so it's a 6-axis gyroscope plus accelerometer, it's that very small thing here in the right bottom corner. And basically this is when you move your head up and down and all that, so basically this tracks everything. And um, yeah, here we have another IC and this one here is a um, semiconductor, so it's a very low power USB 2.0 hub controller. Alright, so I think I forgot something, um, that one here, so here. That very small one, this is actually an ST microelectronics step down DC to DC converter. Okay, um, here you can see the ports so HDMI, mini USB, and here the connector for the display, and here the connector for um, the front panel with all the IR LEDs. So, this is the motherboard, actually very simple, and I think the most yeah awkward thing is when you just pull out a Samsung display which is actually made for a smartphone out of your Oculus dev kit. So this was really, really strange. But I mean, you just have to check it out. Those AMOLED screens are pretty cool. They are very thin, they have great colors, and also this one here, very good resolution. But still, Full HD is not enough, so in Oculus dev kit 2, I still did see the pictures, but in the final Oculus product, it looked absolutely awesome. So yeah, no pixels to see anymore. So guys, this was Teardown Tuesday, and yeah, it was my first time taking apart a VR headset, and I have to say, it was a lot of fun, especially when you take out here the Samsung screen. And yeah, we now try to get the final version, so if you want to see us taking it apart, give this video here a thumbs up so that Oculus can see it. And um, yeah, just leave us a comment down below what you want to see next, and make sure you subscribe that you don't miss any Teardown Tuesday. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this, have a nice day, and bye bye, see you soon.